Hi hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are going to install the sway bars on this bad boy. Um, this will fit the uh, uh, Traxxas um, Slash Ultimate and the Rally Car is what this is for um, on the 4x4s. Here's the part number. Sorry about that. We'll give you the part number for that. This is the hot racing. I believe uh, Traxxas has their own too. Um, let's see what's in the bag. You can see a little update. I put the plate in. I had to move the um, radio box up to here, receiver box. It was right here. Um, I believe it was like right here. But it pulled right out of here and the screws went right in there. It moved perfectly. I didn't have to change anything except for this piece. I did drill this out so I can get that screw flat. So my uh, ESC can f sit flat on here. We can um, double side tape this one and then put the motor in because the motor comes way out to here. So I didn't have room for the new ESC in the, in the receiver. It was too long. With the, with the receiver here. So now we can go like that, have plenty of room. And it didn't put it up too high, it's just a little box. It's not gonna make it too overwhelming. So worked out good. So let's get into this. So you have a front, these are the back, okay. Um, doesn't tell you what the sizes are. And here's the front, okay? Thinking that I'm gonna go with the blue because they look thicker. And I want a little bit extra to go with that. So I think I'm gonna go with the blue. And if we don't like that, we'll change it. I'm sure you got like a light, medium, and heavy. So let's throw these out to the side. Open these up. So these all have the screws. So you're gonna have your front and your back. We'll have to figure that one out. And these are gonna go into your um, A arms. And these are gonna come through like that. And then you have a little, you'll have a little locker up there. Hope you guys can see that. I'll zoom in once I start doing things. I'm just trying to get uh, everything out. Let's get a little tray since my other tray back there is buried. And see what's in this one, huh? So we have a couple grub screws there. Looks like there's five grub screws. Um. Four of these little screws and four of these bad boys. So, I need to figure out what those are all for. I wonder what those little ones are for. Oh, okay. I know what they're for. Let's move these up to the top so we can get to them. <clears throat> Okay, move that back. So we're gonna start with the back. Um, let's zoom you in. Okay, so we're gonna go back here and this is gonna sit like this. Okay. With, their, with the pieces going up. Put that there, grab 2.0 wrench, one of these flat screws, and these is what's gonna hold this bar down in this groove. I hope you guys can see that. I know my light's not the greatest around here. And 
and that'll hold that hold that down. It'll be just enough there. You see it right there. So we'll put this other one in. I'll get these in to see which ones are. Funny those. You know, it's, it's holding it in there. It's just uh, <laughs> not a whole lot of room there. Okay. So then we will take, I'm assuming. Take these back ones, and they're going to be the tall ones. Yeah, they're going to be the long ones. So if you look back here in the back, oops, sorry, guy, right here. Keep hitting the screw here or hole here. Then you take your screw here, put this up in there, and you tighten that into there. So. <laughs> they don't give you a whole lot of room, so you're probably gonna have to take a lot of part of stuff stuff apart. So I'm going to take that apart. Pull these two screws out, and these two screws out, and pull it apart, and then we'll be able to get to those easily. It's easier for you to see that anyways, huh? So, we'll take this right here, and that right there, and just screw it in. Make sure you're going straight. It's probably going to be since these holes probably weren't drilled for this, that's going to be, you're going to have to kind of get it started. Just don't over tighten it. Pay attention when you get down to the nitty gritty. That's it there. And once it sucks in there and gets a little tight, stop. Then you can put this up in here, slide it in here. And I think you want it to be straight up and down if you can. Um, and those are big holes. You don't want it to be back. That's what I did. Okay. So let's take one of these little bad boys. And we will angle it a little bit to get to it. Let's see. Do it this way. I'm trying to get it to where you guys can see it too. Turn it sideways. I turn it this way. I should be able to get to it now. You can see it right there. And then I'm gonna put my my arms to follow my shocks adjustment. So. Yeah. I did do this one wrong, guys. <laughs> Just a heads up. I'm supposed to put those on top and it'll bring it out a little bit farther. So let's put this one on first. And we'll go back to that one. 
It's the same thing. The hole right here on this one. Pretty close, okay. Then you got it going down. Yeah, it brings up the other side a little bit. So when you get into that turn, you get into that turn, it kind of brings that tire up. I think that'll help a lot for the body roll for how heavy the, you know, how top heavy the, the body is. So we'll see how that works. But yeah, let's put um, since I messed that up, let's put one of these on here. Okay. So there you go. A little better. <clears throat> yeah. See how the wheels kind of stay. <laughs> that came out good. I like the way that looks. So then you just slap it back on. Let's do this front. Um, I'm thinking I can get away with leaving the front on. So. <clears throat> but this one's a little different this bar looks to be um, straight pretty much except for how it was in the package it looks like so and there's no you don't come from the front you come from the back right here see where it sits right in here okay so then um, you take your two little washers and two flat heads Okay. Like that. Sticking pretty far over, but um, since we can get to the top here, I'm going to make sure those are up. And then I'm going to feed these down like this, I think. Let's see how we're going to get these down in there. Okay. Just kind of push it down in there. Yeah, that'll work. We can't fall off. So, do the same thing. Put it on there. So I'm going to slide it down in here. Just kind of go around your, your shock a little bit. Your spring. There you go. Okay. Now you can see right here where you're where you're at. I'm hoping we can get to that. Ah, 
Okay, this bottom side one, this other one. All right, there you go. That's how the front's done. I turn these around. Um, I guess it depends on how they come in your kit. But I, I flip these around so I can get the screws out farther out, you know, up front. Um, so, yeah. That'll help. Hopefully that'll help that. back seems to work a lot better it actually does a little this way it actually helps to pick it up so that is cool but um i'm gonna put this back on actually i need to lock tight these ones before i put this back on huh so let me lock tight these real quick there you guys go We got the sway bars in now. <laughs> it's been a long time. That's about y'all. There you go. Sway bars installed. Woohoo! So hopefully those will work. Um, next, we'll probably do the motor. We'll do this one. This should be pretty easy. I'll probably just put it in there. It's pretty basic. 
I have a 23 tooth, I think it is, that I'm going to put in there. I'm going to try. Um, and we'll see what that is, what that does. I think this is the, yeah, 23 tooth. I think I have this one and maybe a small, I can't remember, a smaller one or a bigger one than this. I can't remember. But I figured I'd try this one. It's kind of small. We'll see what we can get. Um, we're probably going to switch this out too. This 48 pitch is kind of a. <laughs> I wish they would have done a 32 pitch. Would have been nice. Um, but yeah, I'm going to throw that in there. Um, I might film that. I don't know. But I just wanted to do this right here. So um, I know it's taking a longer video than normal but it's all right guys appreciate it um thanks for watching please like subscribe and uh y'all have a great day